During my student days in Rome, I lived in a house that was across the street from the ancient ruins of the Baths of Caracalla, magnificent outdoor ruins which formed a wonderful backdrop for sunsets. But it also formed a wonderful backdrop for something just as spectacular. Because every summer they performed operas there, outdoors, in those ruins. And traditionally, each year, the one opera that everyone flocked to from all over the world was Giuseppe Verdi's Aida, because this backdrop was absolutely perfect for something that happens in the second act of this opera. Aida, like most operas, is a story of love, but it is also a story of war. It takes place in ancient Egypt, and the Egyptians are at war with the Ethiopians. The Egyptians come out victorious. To celebrate this great victory over their enemies, in the second act we see one of the most glorious, magnificent scenes in all of opera, the famous Triumphal March. Against the background of these ancient Roman ruins, we see live horses drawing chariots across the stage, live camels and live elephants walking against the stage. There are not very many places in the world where you can put on such an extravaganza as this. The scene opens with a glorious march, and long trumpets lead the procession into the city. The trumpets are followed by dancers who are waving branches and singing songs of praise. Chariots with their horses drive across in the triumphal procession. The slaves and the soldiers march. And finally, the captain of the Egyptian troops comes riding up in a solid gold chariot, and the pharaoh of Egypt descends from his throne to go and embrace the victorious captain. The crowds burst forth in a song of praise. Gloria al Egitto, glory to Egypt. Such a magnificent triumphal entry we have witnessed today as well, in Christ's triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Once again we see the crowds waving their branches in salutation and singing out hymns of glory, Hosanna, glory to the Son of David. This is a scene that is very familiar to us, and we all can place ourselves in that scene, somewhere in that crowd. The saintly Brazilian bishop of the 20th century, Dom Elder Camara, the famous bishop of the slums who dedicated his whole life to the poor, was once speaking with the equally great Mother Teresa, who was, of course, the apostle to the poor of India. Mother asked him, Dom Elder, with all the wonderful things you continue to do, with all the worldwide fame, which you have earned. What is your secret? How do you maintain your humility? The bishop looked at Mother Teresa and said, Mother, I just imagine myself in the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Well, Mother Teresa looked at him puzzled. He smiled and said, No, Mother, I don't imagine myself as Jesus. I imagine myself as the donkey who carried him. We are all called to be that little donkey. Let us dare to be that little donkey and carry the Christ. 
Being a donkey is not the challenge. It comes quite natural to most of us. The challenge is carrying the Christ. It is not what we are, but rather what we carry that makes all the difference. If we go through life carrying the light, carrying the love, carrying the Christ to all we encounter, then despite all the twists and turns in the road, despite all the rocks and rough spots along the way, our entrance to will be a triumphal one. Thank you.